This is a I only touch greatness remix. Scan the code and follow. Only touch greatness. Yeah. The mayor of C-Town, Ryan Hayes, <laughs> and his big name guest. Hey, this is your homegirl, Silky Fine, and I'm coming up next on the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Well, growing up in South Central, if my stats are right, uh, what was childhood like for you growing up? Man, I am blessed that I came from a beautiful family, so I never grew up. That's probably why I'm so headstrong and I'm so freaking confident because I was blessed to come up with a small family. I didn't never suffer any trauma, childhood abuse, family incarcerated, drug addicts. I was blessed. So it was always like the middle class, the Huxtables, but I always had this hood thing in me. And my mom is like, why are you so ghetto? Like, it's mama, it's in me. It ain't on me. She's like, yeah, you're just cutting up. Cause like nobody acts like you. Nobody, no one talks like you in our family. And it was just like, I was always this creative artistic little girl because my governor name is Lamar and then I had this little mole on my face so you know growing up they would call me Lamo you know kids are cruel yeah. so I was like I gotta find some type of talent and it was just like artistic I was already labeled gifted in the third grade so I would write and win spelling bees and write journalism oh her mic stopped your mic your mic stopped if you can hear me thanks there we go I just always had a knack for writing and um you know poetry and you started rapping in high school what made you want to start well, I started at about 13 years old. I went to a West Side alternative school and I was just in the midst of, you know, 13, 14. That's when you start hanging with whoever you go hang with. So I always liked the gangsters. You know, I have to keep it real. I always ran with gang bangers and it was like, I have to make a choice. So do I want to be known for robbing, stealing, and might get some time for killing? Or do I want to use all this great energy and become a rapper? Because rapping was popping in the uh, mid-80s. So how did the GBM start on Ruthless Records? Mm, GBM, we were handpicked. Um, Easy E, he always had a vision of having a girl gangster group. So we all were like handpicked. I ended up getting a connection. So I freestyled like over and over a million times until I cussed his little ass out one day. <laughs> and it was that freestyle when I dissed him. And he was like, oh, so she's not a nice girl. Because I was trying to be lyrical miracle. Like I was this battle rapper. And um, it just hit me like, wait a minute, I'm going to have to get gangster. I'm trying to be cute and fancy. And I cussed his ass out and I freestyled. And once I did that, that very night, I freestyled, cussed his ass out, went on about my day. And I got home and checked my voicemail. And it was Easy e inviting me to come meet with him to rap in front, like do a live audition. I did the audition. The other girls came in and did their stuff and everybody was recommended or easy knew someone who knew us four talented, dope females out of the West Coast. So he picked us four girls. Shots out to Big Chan, T-Ski, Diamond, and Silk. And he called us gangster bitch mentality. We was his female N.W.A. And that was too, man. Like, how was it like? Cause how was it like back in those days? Like being with like easy. Like, how was it just like? I know it was like fun and real. Like, how was he working? Like on in the studio. Man, it was like easy. I thought he was this thug, and when I met him, I'm like, you're just a black man 
on the outside, but you mixed up on the inside. <laughs> he was so intelligent. And it was like working with a white boy. He was a little goofy. He'd tell his jokes. Come on, you guys are crazy. So I love this memory. When we first signed to Ruthless Records, uh, we were doing our first show. So Easy E was like, come on, we're going to go shopping. Well, we are. We had that gangster image. So we were like, take us to the swap mate or the you know, warehouse or the, uh, the, we used to have surplus. So we was looking for khakis and Ben Davis and all this stuff. We was like, we're gangsta bitch mentality. And he took us to the Galleria, which is in Burbank, like headed towards Calabasas, North Hollywood. So we went to the Galleria and we're like, whoa, we never been in this mall. We from South Central LA. So we still had a little bit of them ways in us. And um, he took us to Galleria, get whatever you guys want. Well, me and my homegirls was in there stealing and we got caught and Eric was like, oh, what the, like, you motherfucker, you got a record deal. Why are y'all in here? He was so embarrassed. You know, they found out we were with Easy e We played the little, you know, we were just playing. We have lots of money. We were doing a trick on each other. We got out of that, but it was just like our first date with Easy e and gangsta bitch mentality was in the mall still and got caught. <laughs>